Hi, this is Emily with CactusUmpires.com. With this tutorial, we will introduce a somewhat novel approach in an effort to help base umpires identify illegal pitches. Sometimes approaching a task from a different perspective all of a sudden reveals clarity and preciseness that wasn't apparent in the, in the traditional way of tackling the task. Base umpires are responsible for determining if the pitcher's feet are legal. Traditionally, we have always looked to see if we could discern anything illegal about what the pitcher was doing with her feet. Because base umpires are usually positioned at a less than optimal angle and the pitcher's action is so fast, this almost always is difficult to judge. So it may seem strange that we are suggesting umpires not even look to see if a pitch is illegal. We are not saying not to look or that you don't have to make a judgment. Rather, we are offering a new approach, a new perspective on how to make this judgment. Don't look with an eye for something illegal. Instead, look to see if it is legal. This is much simpler. To be legal, the pitcher must push from the pitcher's plate drag her pivot foot on the ground, and not push again until the non-pivot foot has landed. You basically only have a short sequence of action to see, instead of trying to see the wide variety of ways a pitcher can be illegal with her feet. If a pitch is not legal, then what is it? It's illegal. Seeing the pivot foot is easy. Then look to see that it is on the pitcher's plate when the step with the non-pivot foot begins. With your eye on the pivot foot, make sure it stays on the ground and just drags along behind her as the non-pivot foot pulls her forward and finally lands on the ground. The non-pivot foot has to be touching the pitching plate. It has to be the foot that steps first, and it has to step forward. Whether it lands within the 24 inches of the pitching plate is a judgment college umpires can make, but only when their starting position is off the line. With these relatively few things to see, and because they will be the same things for every pitcher, you should be able to much more easily train your eye to watch what it needs to see. If you do not see these things, these things that are required for a pitcher to be legal, then the pitcher is not legal and an illegal pitch should be called. If the pitch is not legal, then it is, is illegal. You must see both feet in contact with the pitching plate. If you cannot see the pitching plate, then go clean it off so you can see. You can't do your job if you can't see what you are supposed to. You pretty much have full control over whether you can see the pitching plate. You can clean it or you can move to a place where you can see it better. You must see that the non-pivot foot first move or step is forward. Here we can see that the pivot foot is pushing from the pitching plate as the non-pivot foot begins its step forward. Here again you can see that the initial push that drives the body forward was begun from the pitching plate. Then you just watch it, the pivot foot. You watch it drag along the ground. If the pivot foot is dragging along the ground, 
being pulled along by the forward step and momentum of the non-pivot foot. It most likely is not going to be bent or flexed, if you will, and not at a different angle than how it was when it originally left the pitching plate. Seeing something like this picture is a clue that the pivot foot is bearing weight again or, in plainer language, pushing again. It is only a clue, but it's a pretty darn good one. If you don't see both feet in contact with the pitching plate, first step forward with the non-pivot foot, initial push by the pivot foot from the pitching plate, pivot foot dragging on the ground until the non-pivot foot lands, then you are looking at a pitch that is not legal. If the pitch is not legal, it is illegal. So make the call. And continue to make the call until you can see that the pitch is legal. Don't just make a token one-time call thinking that that will solve everything. Show them that you are doing your job and keep making the call until you can see that the pitcher is legal. Here are a bunch of reasons umpires sometimes use to talk themselves out of making the illegal pitch call. None of them are valid. All of them are cop-outs. We don't use this type of rationalizing when judging other infractions. It's our job, albeit not the most pleasant part of it, but it is our job to make sure the pitcher pitches according to the rules. Some umpires say they are using discretion by not making the call in certain instances, but nowhere in the rules does it say that calling or not calling an illegal pitch is up to the umpire's discretion. It simply is legal or it is not legal, regardless of any other circumstances. And it is our job to make the call. Think of the illegal pitch call the same as any other call you make. You don't try to factor in a bunch of rationalization on an out safe call. You just make the call. That's how it should be with calling the illegal pitch. Every pitch, look to see that it is legal. If it is not legal, then it is illegal. 